So hey guys, um, yeah, some interesting news dropping this afternoon. We have got some transfer news as well for you, but like the main interesting news is that headline over there, the John Percy, esteemed journalist John Percy of The Telegraph has dropped uh, an article this afternoon saying that Wolves have only got £20 million to spend in the transfer window despite... Uh, the sales of £40 million for Maximilian Kilman and the Nyon £51 to £54 million for Pedro Neto. I'm going to give you my thoughts on that and then I'll just give you the uh, the transfer links at the end. So uh, hopefully you're going to stick with me and bear with me on that. Right. Now, those that watch the channel know full well I try to be really, really balanced about everything. But I'm a little bit surprised uh, that... This headline is that we've only got £20 million to spend in this summer window because Wolves want to stay financially secure. I'll tell you the reason for why. Uh, for all the stuff that I've done and everything from last year and all the sales, I thought Wolves were heading probably into this season with a little bit of clear very water of somewhere between 10 to £20 million already before we started not a lot of money but enable us to do a little bit of deals uh, which we started very very quickly at the start of the transfer window didn't we 4.3 million pounds uh for uh tommy Dole signed yes um around about sort of like 8 million pounds for pedro lima around about 12 million pounds for uh rodrigo gomez that's about another 20 three million pounds uh, loan fee initially for Jurgen Strand Larsen, and so yeah, let's combine all that together and call that around about sort of let's say just round it up to thirty million, say plus the uh, that's what we spent, and um, so obviously we were already around about ten to twenty million pound up, so like we'd be about ten to fifteen million pounds down, but then we sold Kilman. Obviously, because of the uh, we bought him for forty thousand, forty million is a big profit. Now, I'm not a hundred percent sure whether we're getting all that money in one lump sum. I would hope so, but sometimes they uh, get paid over a period of time, like we did with Jota. But all the reports suggest that we're getting all that money, and then fifty one, fifty four million pounds uh, for Neto. So let's just call that fifty. So that's ninety million plus. Let's call it. 95 million plus say 15 that's 110 million pounds that we've bought in or we're already up and we spent around about 30 million so far now there's another 20 million pounds on uh jürgen strand larson that's going to be paid uh next summer if we keep him which hopefully we will do because he'll have a successful season so you're going to keep that back so that's a 50 million that gives us 60 million then for me as i talked on the uh last night on extra time I would say that you're going to keep money back uh, for just in case for January. So maybe 20 million kept back, 20, 30 million pounds kept back for January. So I was suggesting last night that I thought Wolves would have between 30 and 40 million pounds available uh, for Gary O'Neill to invest in two, three, four players in this window. So the headline that John Purse has come out with 20 million, I was a bit surprised with that because I was thinking, surely we got more. Now, on regards to that, it's if you know we want ready-made, oven-ready players to come in. We we've, we've got we have these the youngsters that come in. I get it, you know they increase in value. We can sell them on over a period of time, you know that we can someone gets sent over on loan. I mean, years from a scare of what was it five million? What a replacement for Max Kilman he's been. But we still probably need another defender. We still probably need a fullback. We probably need a, another forward or, or a striker for definite. Um, and things cost money. So are Wolves just getting that out there to basically say to everyone, look, we haven't got shed loads of money just because we've sold Kilman and Pedro Neto, so don't get putting your, your fees up. If so, that's clever and wise, or is it genuinely 20 million? I don't know. Don't forget, Wolves can also use the low market to loan someone in. As with loan to buyers, we've done successfully in the past uh, and that's worked so you know although it doesn't it's just it's a there's a small loan fee there might be uh more cost the following year i do expect that wolves come next summer will be in a much stronger position a very strong position in the market to be able to splash some cash next summer but 
Mm. They do say that there might be more available if we sell fringe players. So what are the fringe players? Well, one of them's Fabio Silva. And apparently Genoa have uh, made another offer or are set to present another offer to Wolves. Wolves obviously want to sell him permanently or to go on loan with a not, with a, not an option to buy with you must buy. And are reportedly valuing Silva around about that sort of... 15 to 20 million pounds, so around about 17, 18 million pounds. Uh, there is interest, uh, funnily enough, in uh, Daniel Pedence now from Al uh, Shabab. Apparently, they've made an approach, uh, nothing agreed, but apparently, um, it's said that Pedence is keen to move to Saudi Arabia. Well, he'll get a shed load of money, that's for sure. However, you know, he did come on at the weekend. My dad loves him. So he'd love him uh, to stay. Other news uh, is that Wolves are still interested in uh, Wissa from Brentford, uh, but I've been told by Brentford they're not going to sell him because of the Ivan Tony situation and they want to keep hold of him. So that's one that's, you know, maybe it still has something to run. Another player that Wolves have been linked with uh, today is Burnley's Dara O'Shea. Depend, again, as I say, um, on what budget they've got to spend. Wolves are going to be linked with a lot of players. I, I, I personally think we need another centre back because we've only got four. Uh, I know we're playing a four at the, you know, we're playing the two at the back, but we can switch to three. And um, Dawson, he isn't getting any younger, is he? And um, so I think we need a thing and, and probably a full back. Um, because obviously Hugo Bueno has gone out on loan. So yeah, back to the uh, the 20 million. It's a headline number. It's a, it's one of these, and I know there's a load of you that are going to come on here and go like, folks and this, that, and the other, and, you know, they don't, whatever. Yeah. And I can understand why you would say that, but we have to see, as I've said all along, and how this transfer window pans out. Is it a clever play from Wolves to basically strike a better deal? Um the transfer window has got two weeks left to run, probably less than two weeks left to run. I'll be surprised if players, don't, fringe players, don't go out. Some of them will bring in a little bit of money. Please, can we sell Fabio Silva and end that saga? Um, and if they do, then there might be a little bit more. But I just think it's, it could be a little bit of like kidology. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. I've always said judge it when the window is closed. But yeah. At the end of the day, twenty million, and we've raised so much money. It, it is a lot. You do look at it and you just go, mm. "Well," but I've tried to explain it anyway. Leave your thoughts on what that, on what you're thinking on that. I've rambled on a little bit now. Uh, <laughs> until the next one, always walks.